Hey guys, it's Aubrey and I'm back to show you a couple of helpful foam rolling tips for your lower body. So this is short, sweet, and to the point. Let's get going. As I said in my first video, you want to make sure that you start off with your softer medium foam roller and build your way up to the firm foam roller. And I have built my way up for this. So let's first go to my favorite muscle group, the tibialis anterior, aka your shins. Can you believe that's my favorite, but my favorite muscle group? along with the calves, they're like the same thing. So you're gonna come into tabletop and you're going to go nice and slowly, or at a medium pace from now um, over your foam roller. Now you wanna find any parts where, oh, you're carrying some extra tension, hold that and breathe for about 10 seconds and just take your time. You don't wanna think like you're starting a fire, so don't go completely bananas when you are rolling. So I just got my shins, which is an excellent way to alleviate um, oh gosh, shin splints, or how about prevent them? That can be one helpful tip. This next one, this is all me, I love it. So you're gonna do a little stack of your feet, and this is going, you're gonna feel this again on the tibialis anterior, but I want you to go right at the top of that muscle and see if you can release some tension. And you're gonna do this, roll back and forth like 10 or 15 times. When I'm rolling, I usually don't count the number of reps, I base it off of feeling until I have that tension released. So then, do the other side, of course, please know that's a given. And for this one, I'm gonna lift my bum up off the mat and I'm gonna take it to the calves. Now my calves are really, really tight, so you're gonna flex those feet. And if you need a little bit more like I do, I'm gonna do another body part stacking where I kick one heel up on my opposite foot. And again, go slowly and see where, ooh, right there is where I need kind of that acupressure release. Now, to get to your quadriceps, I love this one. So I'm gonna go back into my tabletop position and you can do both quads at the same time or you can, again, stack one leg and get just a little bit more of any of that spot where you need. Now, be careful with foam rolling your IT band. There's a lot of articles now and um, physical therapists that are talking about they don't recommend rolling out your IT band. So again, just listen to your body. Think more quadriceps for that one. Now, I actually do really like to roll out any tight spots of my glutes. So then I'm gonna turn the foam roller kind of more at an angle where I start to feel a, a deep release along the glutes. And then last but not least, inner thighs. You know, we all want to go get a massage and ask for the inner thighs to be massaged, but you can't do that. They're going to look at you and think like you're a pervert. So you're going to take one little frog leg out here and slowly start to roll into any tightness of your adductors. Oh my gosh, and I love this one. Go, don't go all the way up to your crotch because it's a very sensitive spot. Go like mid thigh. If you need a little bit more, straighten the leg out and then repeat. Now, I lied, I got one more. Hello, hamstrings. We want to, we did the quads, we want to get to the hammies. So hamstrings, I like to stretch these more than anything. I don't feel like a huge release when I, personally when I do my hamstrings on the foam roller, but you might. So this is all lower body. Now, I do not foam roll my belly muscles. Uh, I left that one out, but there are so many different ways that you can foam roll. These are just very general guidelines and I recommend you stick to them. Regardless, take your time, breathe through the entire warm up, cool down, whatever, whenever you're gonna do this, and like, comment, and subscribe, let me know if you have any questions, and I will see you soon.